So in this video, we're going to show you how to create Java doc, and we're going to use IntelliJ idea to generate it. So if you refer to textbook Java and Introduction to Problem Solving and Programming Sig Editions, Appendices, we have the section we call Java doc. See that? Appendix 5. It's going to say you need to put slash, asterisk, asterisk. This is like multiple like comments, but to asterisk. Okay, in order to make all the comments here, put onto Javadoc. And Javadoc is pretty much just a, an HTML version. Like, look like this. This is a Javadoc for Jabotion pane, so it can be published online. It's going to generate that for you. So this description pretty much coming from the comments inside your two asterisk, right? So let's see an example in the code here. For example, if I want to, this is the source code where I can create Java code, new Java class. So let's name person a class name person so by default IntelliJ already do the comments for Javadoc for you right there and fill information now if you like to do I prefer you to have <coughs> like question is how details you want to do Javadoc it depends on you because after you write program, like one year from now, ten years from now, you can forget what you write. So this is where you're going to explain what you like to do. Also for another people to read and understand. So at this level, for submission on the requirement assignment, you just need to put some definition on what you do. You don't have to be like any detail example I don't need that just want to make sure you know how to do it and keep good practice on the coding style having comments so person class right use for storing person information Something like this, right? So we have to feel like private string person name, right? And we have constructor public person string name. So it's going to be this dot name. So this refer to the attributes right here name <coughs> and name here <coughs> so let's talk about the scope a little bit so when we declare string name this is only valid inside the curly braces here this name is different than this name okay so this name is valid throughout the program. So that's why in order to make sure to distinguish between these two, we used to use we like to use this to refer to the name outside of the constructed person. Okay. Since we haven't haven't to keep the same name. Now you should have, for like example, I'm going to create the methods now. Public, right, string, set, name. Set name, pass the name in, and set name should be void, actually, right? Because we don't need it to return. So, we might just give the name again, very similar to the one in the constructor. 
but you use set name to change the name again. You don't, you can't change the name from constructor, right? Like if Tom change name to Tony, we have to go through set name. Person in constructor name here only create once. Okay. So we have public. Now we're going to return. So get name, right? So that's return. So that's why I type is string. So we're creating method here, right? Return name, which normally you don't need to refer to this if if there's no such distinct, right? There's no another name the same. So <clears throat> now we have set name, get name, <coughs> constructor. We may have <coughs> more like person can talk. I'm gonna create talk. Let's uh say this is talk is the default. Then I'm gonna have person show show person as not a method. <coughs> this is protected. Talk is a default which no modifiers. No modify in front. <coughs> so we just need to give the type now. So let's say it's going to return. So let's say show is going to say return name. I'm going to say show name. Okay. A talk is going to return. I am a person. Now, when it returns, you need to give the type. <coughs> it's a string. So the question is, where else I should do the Java doc comments? Like shown you. In the Java doc, the standard Java doc, you should do explanation here at a class level. So this is gonna go in here, where this is it at a class level. All of this pretty much inside your comments that I just shown you. This whole thing, you know, to make it show, like our example. Now, for the constructors. Like let's look at the constructors. They should have the constructor summaries, even the fields too. See, if you want to show something, you need to write it down. So you should have it field level name of a person, right? And you should have at all the each levels at the method level. It's going to insert add param for you. This is called notation param name to explain what is it, right? And initial person name. Then the user who use person knows what type of parameters we expected. And say this is this is a construct there to initialize person object. So you should do that for each level to make sure it's filled into your Java doc for each methods. Like that, all the statement here come from that comments. Even when you click on the method itself, params that we fill in here and this comments for that for the explanation that I'm about to type here going to show right here so to set a name of a person like a new person name something like that right that's why we want to do an each level with it to asterisk 
where I give get person name to return you have to say what's going to return person name show so show person name person name talk <coughs> I know it's kind of tedious in the term of comments but it's very important when you work in a team in a group because nobody's going to understand your method and sometimes we like to explain the logic algorithm in here too for each method like how do you find a standard deviation something like that if you create a method for a standard deviation right return a message from a person object alright so let's say I'm done so I'm going to show you how to generate this we can do more if you do more classes it's going to generate at once let's say I can add another class which is student and student just going to extend person so we do inheritance here right so create student class form person so that's try to explain that what is the class for and student has the age Alright, so you can start to create more and more in here. Private, right? And you can keep the definition on Java Doc right there. Right? Age of a student. And we can do constructor too public student and then we have age right name so now when we refer to the constructor of the person we like to use super because it already have the name so we can just we don't have to reinvent the view for the name and then super just pass the name that's how you refer to the parent constructor using the keyword super this dot h h and pass and let's pass two parameters to set student h and we need to explain that here right like create object of student student name student age so to generate java doc let me show you now we can go to so go to tools generate java doc <coughs> you can pick the whole project or just specific file like now i want to get let's do the whole project person student right everything else my activities so output directory so I'm gonna put it you can put it in the same if you want or you can just select any location so if I want to put in the same it's put under my username right there so users and it should be the IntelliJ idea projects my Android app right there so let me create a new folder for doc to represent Java doc go in there and hit OK so it's generating now and after it's done it's just open for you see that that's the package the new package with person and you see the class that I told you 